Right, today we've got some suspension to fit to the Fiat Seicento. It come the other day, I just haven't had time to do it because I've been at work. So, this is what we've got. The cat's nicely sitting on the box, but it's TA Technics. And it is a coilover kit. pretty good to be honest but for the price of them anyway they were pretty cheap that's the front the rears are just individual springs which are there and shock absorbers they're not coilovers on the rear and there's the rear shock there so I'm now going to go outside and I'm going to jack the car up I'm going to put some GT85 on the bolt, the back shocks and the front shocks, let it soak in for a bit, have a cup of tea, and I'll try and remove the backs first and get the backs done because I haven't got a spring compressor to do the fronts because I need to take the top mounts off the shocks that I've got on the car now. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the shocks and then I'm going to go and take them, same with friend Slick, and hopefully he'll be able to knock the top mounts off for me because he's, he'll have a spring compressor at his work, and then I'll put the top mounts back onto the coilovers and then come home and then replace them on the car first off actually before i do anything i'm i think i'm going to measure the height at the minute i don't expect this to lower it massive amounts um 20 30 mil would be fantastic but it's more about the body roll that it has on the standard stuff um i don't know if it's just age related because it's was it 68 69 000 miles it's nearly 20 year old the car um maybe i'm just used to my golf and the way that handles because it's so flat um this thing it rolls quite a lot so if we can reduce the body roll that'd be ideal so that's the main aim for this really is just get rid of the body roll I'm not too bothered about the ride height but i've made a little alteration at the car as well i've changed the front bumper um i'll show you that in a minute once i get outside and move the cars around on the drive right in a bit it's also on standard ride height quite big The only tape measure I could find because I've lost all my ones for some reason was this thing. Uh, I can't really hold the camera and measure this, so I'll do this and I'll report back. Right, so we're looking at sort of 600 mil on the back and 585 mil on the front. So if I could come down even 20 mil, would be ideal. Um, so that's that measured. I've also got this uh, sunroof panel which I've had for a while. I was missing the strap that holds it into the boot I've got that now so that means I can now store that properly so that's cool so I'm gonna get that done now oh yeah front bumper down I need the indicators obviously but that's the MPI front bumper fitted looks a lot better the other one had a big crack in anyway so I'm gonna use that other bumper cut the piece out just to fill that in the exhaust hole right time to get these wheel nuts off and then jack the car up all jacked up didn't even take the wheels off wasn't really important just kick that no. right so what we've got is got one bolt at the top one bolt at the bottom the top one must be is it a captive or is it not no it's not it's an in bulk spanner and a ratchet on both and there's the spring just sat in there. It's out on both sides. That's it. There's the bump stops there. The other side looks a bit knackered, but it'll be alright. Right, so. Get some of that on the bolts and then leave it sitting for about a little while. I'll get yourself a cup of tea. bolt in this side and at the top. Could be a good thing. 
There's that beastly exhaust system. Look at that. Proper flash. There's the sun out, that's nice. That's a nice thing. Running loud here, so nice. So that's a clean dip not on there, which is good. 17 and 14. That's what I need to do. Right with this, if you can't get that on, the spanner. Ugh, tight. Very tight, it's much easier than egg on this obviously, but never mind. I ain't got one. So I'll get cracking on with this. Try and loosen the top one, that's gonna have to be a spanner job. Get that ratchet in there. No chance. Spanner on that. Right, stop this. There's going to be someone somewhere that's going to tell me there's a much easier method, but look, it helps clean so you've got to get the spanner on, you can turn it that far and back on and repeat and repeat and repeat. It's just that I Obviously, you'll get more room when the bolt starts to come out, but Jesus, that's really irritating. It's going to take me a little while this one. I'll just get it as far as I can and then get the bottom one out first so at least it's hanging without dropping the bottom arm down. I think I'm in my own light there. Right. So there you go, original shock and original spring out. There and there, new one there and there. And you'll notice the height difference in the springs. If anything, the new springs are slightly longer. I'm guessing they're going to be a little springier, so as you put the weight in, it's going to go down a bit further. We hope. Right. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to get this side bolted up, and then get on with it, because the back arm is separate, which is good. It's making it a bit easier, but I have a bit difficult putting the spring in, actually, because I had to use a bar to get the old spring out, so I'm going to have to lever the new spring in as well. We'll see, though. Because I didn't take the wheels off, because I figured you didn't need to, but of course it would have been easier, or I could get the car higher, one of the two. Anyway, well, that's both the rears done. They weren't too bad to be honest, it was uh, just a 17mm bolt there, a the 17mm bolt up there. Get the old springs out, I used a bar. Um, unfortunately, I kind of had to get the car a bit higher because I should have taken the wheels off, would have made it load easier but I managed to get it done anyway and I'm going to take the front wheels off and get the front shocks out chuck them in my golf and then uh, wait till about five-ish and hopefully slick and let me take the top bounce off there and then that will mean I can come home and put them in going after the feet load I'm going to measure this now I don't, I don't expect it to go down much but obviously it'll set all the time it was 600 before so I'll lower it off the jack and give it a quick measure and then fall back So we've got 19mm there and 18mm on the other side, which is really handy. And you've got this brake pipe here, which is just clipped in, that should just pop out, should it? Yeah. So that's out of the way. And the top underneath here. You've got, there's your top right there, you've got one, two, three. So that's just the, that's the ECU attached to that, so we'll just slacken those. It's actually. Oh yeah, right, so you've got a nut there, you've got another one there, so you always have to slacken those, take that off, slacken that, remove those fuel lines. I'm assuming they're fuel lines, are they? I'm not sure, anyway. And then there uh, you'll have a nut underneath to get out. So I should be that out from the top. But it's the same on the other side, is it, I imagine? Nah, you've just got one on either side, so it's just that side that has the two. And that'll be that out. Right. So that's the older than you. That's the old one fell over in the box. And there's the other old one out. So they're both out. I'm going to put them in the boot of my golf, um, get myself something to eat, and then head down into the big city and uh, get my friend to go and take these top mounts off for me because I haven't got a spring compressor. You'll have one in the workshop. 
might take a couple of minutes to do it and put them onto them and then we can go back into the car obviously they've got two locker rings there so we can adjust the height a little bit more if we need to but we're just going to put them in as they are now I'll measure them so they're both the same first and then fit them next weekend cover <laughs> Is it? Newt? Uh, stay, stay set them, haven't you, Steve? Where have you set them? Well, even. I've set yeah, them even. even. Even to what? The bottom. <laughs> Thanks. I'm going to go fit these and then I'm not going to be able to take my car off the axle stand, am I? Just drive it, it'll be alright. Just drive it, Just drive it fast. Off straight off the axle stands. Flat out. <laughs> okay. All hey. good. All good. There Thanks. We go. So we're back. Ready to fit. I'm going to get on with that quickly. And that'll be done. Let's see how far down stays around these. Probably going to have to raise them, but we'll see anyway. Just put the last two bolts in, but one thing I noticed is we've got a camber adjustment on here. You can see there's a slot there. That's going to be quite handy. Didn't know it came with that. That's useful, so I'll get this tightened up and we'll see what the wheels say. All done. All done. Just break pipe to clip in. Wheels back on. Off the jack. Let's see how it sits. Lowered. Finished. Wheels on. That's a lot lower on the front. You can't particularly tell here, but I know the tracking's out. I can tell by that wheel. Playing outwards, the other side's a bit straighter, so I'll get that done tomorrow. Happy with that. Just jump on the back a bit. Back needs to come down some more, but I don't know if it will. It's pretty low. We're on 600 at the back. Um, it's about 595. And we were on 585 on the front. Which now looks to be about 540. So it's gone down about 45 mil. It's pretty good. Just need to get the back level. But now, a little drive, it might settle down. to this beast start up. Oh, yes. Right. Thanks for watching. It's been great fun. Tomorrow I'll take on a little test drive and video that and give a verdict on what I think of these shocks and springs and the coilovers. Uh, I might have the tracking done in the morning. Yeah, I will get the tracking done in the morning. And that'll be that. Brilliant. It's been quite a successful day as long as it doesn't fall to bits. 